So, um, why do you have to remind remind us of this, Pink Fox? What? What? Why? Uh, speaking of Pink Fox, welcome back to the series. Also, how's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. <laughs> she tooted my horn without me. Yeah. Anyway. Why did I? Any. Anyway. Um. Have you noticed anything up with Sayori recently? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading into it a little too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? No, I'm just saying this just cuz. I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Noticed? <laughs> noticed anything about her. You know what? It's, it's okay. Monica appears across the room at Sayori, who is idly dragging a rubber duck <laughs> down her butt. A rubber duck? <laughs> no, it says rubber eraser down her guys. Oh, wait, it doesn't say upper butt? Oh. That doesn't say rubber duck? Yep, definitely love you, so... Definitely in love with the stork right here. Maybe there's something on her mind. Oh, there's something on her mind, all right. What? You'll find out. But I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Pink Fox. You didn't even know. What are you talking about? You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Okay, she's not wrong. Yeah, but she's never really like this. Gee, I wonder what that might mean. Also, she is sitting on my legs, hence the up and down movement. She's always talked to me about things that bother her. But none of it's about you. No? Yeah. But this time, when I asked her, she was really dismissive. I wonder why. You already know what's about to happen, don't you? Yeah, it kind of gives it away. <laughs> Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no. No, no. <laughs> it's important to me, too. Uh -huh. Okay. I mean, I'm also friends with her. Fair point. And I also care about her well the well-being of the club members, you know? Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. And of course, we apparently can't do that. Oh wait, we just tried. Never mind. Yeah, last time she was like, if I remember correctly, last time she was like sitting at her desk just moping. She was saying she was okay, but she was being very dismissive. Hmm. Sounds like someone. Sounds like a lot of people I have met, actually. Oh boy. Anyway, huh? Are you sure about that? Yeah, I'm asking the same question myself. <laughs> she seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Our character said it feels like she wanted to be left alone. The first thing that came to my mind is, yeah, someone's down. Someone seems like they're about to get depressed. Let's leave them alone. That's a smart thing to do. Maybe she just has a hard time bringing up with a person of interest. Hmm? Um... My human of interest. I... Apparently I'm apparently Sayori's as well. Apparently. <laughs> just kidding. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying... That maybe the thing on her mind is you, Pink Fox. How dare it be? You're talking to Pink Fox the character, not me. There is a reason I say that, by the way. I know. No looking at my phone during a recording. I will flip the <laughs> phone over. I will flip the phone over. I was just reading. I'll flip the phone over. <laughs> okay, Dorphins. We 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 suffer. We we suffer. I'm sorry. We must apologize. We suffer from something called NED. 
non English di- non Englishing um, dis- dis- um, disorder di- di- something <laughs> yeah that non Englishing disorder we suffer from NED here <laughs> me <laughs> yes me <laughs> how on earth would you come to that conclusion do we really have to reiterate ourselves well... why are you smiling Monica why are you smiling Monica I probably shouldn't say too much, but Sayori talks about you more than anything you want else, you know. Hmm, that sounds familiar. You know what? I'm about to <laughs> flipper you. Were you gonna get a flipper? Just <laughs> <laughs> he knocked the earbud out of my ear. Yes, the earbud that we can barely hear to the music <laughs> in anyway, because these earbuds suck dick. <laughs> Language. No. <laughs> you're, you're worried about language. Wait until like two hours later into the game. Okay, fair. Well, the main campaign part. Eh? She's been so much happier ever since you joined the club. Yeah, I noticed. It's, all... it's like an extra way was turned on inside of her. Yeah, um... What? Apparently my, my my apparently my character has no idea about reality at all. He has no idea that Sayori has a crush on him. Sayori is always like... Idiot. He's always been full of sunshine. Oh my gosh. Idiot. I don't care that it fell out that time. This guy is so stupid. Well, I'm about to fix it. There you go. Okay then. <laughs> what? Just look at it. Look at. <laughs> okay, moving on. It's not any different now than it always has been. BS. Well, actually. That... Great. We're back to this. You're so funny, Pink Fox. <laughs> Shush. Have you thought that maybe you've always seen her as? So cheerful. What are you gonna say? Because that's just how she is when she's around you. Um. Oh, jeez. Ah, so too much. Doesn't matter. Let's put it that way. You could have said that or not. It really does not matter, Monica. Sorry, what do I know anyway? <sighs> I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so you just forget about what I said. I have nothing to say to you, Monica. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. Uh, uh all right. <laughs> she smiles meaningfully. Are we sure that's meaningfully? I know she said to forget about it. I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Now that sounds familiar. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room to where Sayori is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Sayori and gently talk to her. She's keeping her voice so quiet. I can't hear her from here. I sigh and sit down myself. Or sit myself down. S- sit, sit the cups on the floor. It, an, an, Anthony now is I a... want to sing the cup song. No. 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 <laughs> that, sh- that sh- is the cup song, though. I know, but I admit the actual picture perfect song. That is the cup song. Version of it. I know. No, it is. It still is. She does it with I the know. I want to sing her. it, but I don't want You can't. Yes. You can still, still do that pattern, though. <laughs> I mean, I could, but, but... I don't want to get in trouble with YouTube. Yeah, probably a good idea. That's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Um, okay. Exactly how much do I care about her? 
that I'm letting this weigh me down so much. Hal feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary. Uh huh. There's but no there's nothing you can do besides wait for Monica. Ain't that the truth? Oh no. Hey you! <laughs> okay, geez, Natsuki. Huh? I got to see Natsuki next to me. You just gonna sit there and keep staring at nothing? There isn't much that. There isn't that much time, so. Huh. Sorry. I didn't mean to make you worry or anything. It's not like I'm worried. It's just... Natsuki glances down at her side. She's holding a volume of manga in her hand. That's right. Something just came up for a minute. But we can get started now. I won't make you wait any longer. Jeez! Did she get braces? I don't know. Because she's really... starting to talk like Shelly a bit. <laughs> from South Park. Hey. How dare you compare her to something that's probably really accurate. <laughs> now you make like... me feel like a jerk. Something... You're really making her, making her sound like she's wearing headgear. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just pretend she is. That's, that's, that, <laughs> that right there. That is the headgear. That's a hair. That's headgear. <laughs> If something's bothering you, then you can just tell me to leave you alone, and I will. I mean, assuming you didn't feel like talking about it or anything. She practically mumbles that last part. Nah, I'm probably making it seem a little, like, a bigger deal than it is. I've just been thinking about Sayori, that's all. S Sayori? Uh-oh. Thinking about her? Not that way, Natsuki. Yeah, she seems pretty down today. She didn't want to admit it to me. So I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. Oh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Jeez, Natsuki. Natsuki exhales. Well, first of all, you should really work on your phrasing. I mean... The phrasing isn't really the problem, it's your headgear, kid. <laughs> <laughs> that, that headgear is making it impossible for you to hear me right. Talking so loud, Natsuki. Jeez. You're her best friend, right? Yeah, I guess so. Apparently, I don't know anymore. Yeah. Then, in that case, I think you should trust her a little more. If she needed you, then you would be the first person she would go to, right? Unless she had a thing for him and didn't want to tell him. So she knows something? Whoa. What? I just saw her shoulder pop. That was this, actually. Uh, no, that was one of your arms. You heard that, No. Right? They sound like very, that. They, they sound very similar, so you probably just misheard. Anyway. Well, I guess that's true. I mean, some people just had those days. <laughs> okay. Um, some of us more than others, some of us just want to throw everything at the at the wall and throw a hole in it. <laughs> Glad that's not Sayori, but I still don't like what's going to happen with Sayori. I uh, mean, my brother did punch a hole in the wall when he was picked at his ex at his girlfriend one day. That, 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 that's a dude, not a girl. <laughs> hey, you never know, a girl could get a piss and just... Yeah, Don't I know. Don't punch the wall and break the wall. Glad she can't hear us with that headgear on. What's, what, what does your hair actually look like, Natsuki? I want to know. Did you take that off? You can't always avoid it. Oh, gee. Okay, fine. We'll get back on topic. If anything, she probably doesn't want you to worry about her because it's not important. Oh, yeah. Totally not. 
Yeah, that's kind of what she said to me. That's how you know it's about him. That's also how you know, how you know it's bad. Mm -hmm. Really bad. Maybe it's not right for me to go against her wishes. In this case... Sorry, okay. I was reading something. The fern, the fern is going to turn. Exactly. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Eddie. The fern is going to turn. Exactly. <laughs> okay, Eddie. Gear makes speaks a lot. Hey, you know I suffer from NED. You know yeah. I suffer from a Ned. <laughs> <laughs> so do I. <laughs> I am not going to repeat that. <laughs> anyway, okay. um, we're, we're whispering stuff on recording. Ignore us. <laughs> See? <laughs> Is he... Oh, wait, I already read that, didn't I? No, no. If he needs you to worry about her, then it'll be a lot more obvious. <sighs> it was obvious. Our character's just stupid. I mean, no, Natsuki's just stupid. Actually, it's our character that was that Sayori was speaking to, remember? Natsuki's actually pretty smart. <laughs> well, with the headgear, you never know where her brain is. Uh, it's gotta be somewhere under that. It's Maybe. Not, I doubt it's a giant gaping hole. It might be. <laughs> Someone is really, really cold or something. Mm -hmm. Okay. I should have thought of it that way from the start. Yeah, no kidding. Natsuki fiddles with the book she's holding in her hands. I'm about to fall off your leg. She... She really means a lot to you, doesn't she? I'm about to fall off your leg. Well... Yeah! <laughs> uh... Don't get the wrong idea or anything. We've just been friends for a long time. It's normal to be worried about your friends. Is it, though? It is. Yes, I know. I'm just kidding. <sighs> I was worried about my best friend when she had her baby. Yeah. Because I wasn't sure she was going to make it I mean, because of medical reasons. You were worried about me, so... I'm always worried about you. You're my Not man. Not you. That's what this says. But yes. I was not! I was not! Okay, you don't have to scream it. Jeez. Jeez! If you're <laughs> fine... <laughs> If you're fine, then let's hurry and get started already. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Natsuki, wow. shut up. Nobody wants to hear your untoppling, annoying, headgearish voice. Okay, everyone. No, that's me. <laughs> Dude, okay, everyone. I do that because whenever I do the motion, that's what comes out. <laughs> If you were to watch me go through the dialogue on my own, that's exactly the voice. I'm like, okay! Oh, zip it! <laughs> After some time passes, Monaco calls out to the club room. <clears throat> I was supposed to read that. Well, whatever. <laughs> Why don't we share our poems now? Before I know it, everything is back to normal. Everyone is. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems. I do the same. I make eye contact with Monica, and she smiles at me. I wonder what she was talking about with Sayori. Probably not good. Uh, Sayori. Boy. Okay. I want to hear hers first. Oh boy, it's not gonna be good. It's not gonna be good. Just play since it. I will say this. It's benefiting Natsuki. The poem benefits Natsuki. You just blew my hair in my face. <laughs> now it's even more so. <laughs> no, it's not, actually. All right, fine. You blew it into my eyeball. <laughs> Sayori? Go. Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, Sayori, it's your turn to read. Um, uh, uh, uh. Oh, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. You do realize it. She's not constipated. <laughs> She's thinking. Shut up. <laughs> it's nice, I guess. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Come on. I can already tell you don't like it. Well... 
You don't need to worry about what I think. Because those eyes totally say, look at her. She's obviously down about it. No, she's obviously in love with him. Well, That's how I looked at you when I first met you. Sadly like that? No. That's how she's looking. She's no. sad. Look at her eyes. No, those are your eyes of an, a loved one. She's sad. Look at the eyebrows, the way they're formed. Oh, I wasn't That's... looking at you like that then. I was looking at you she's like that sad. with my eyes. She is very my sad. Eyebrows. She's depressed. I'm going to go that far. Anyway. After all, you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? Oh, boy. Probably not, Ski. Huh? I didn't write this for anyone specifically. Bull crap! Maybe... Monica? That's not what I meant, though. Sayori, are you breaking the fourth wall as well? Oh yeah, you missed it. Monica broke the fourth wall earlier. How? So, Monica at a point in one of the days that have passed says, it tells, reminds the player to save the game in the process of talking to the character. Idiot. Oh, that's intentional. You'll find out why later. But it's okay. You're making new friends, just like I was hoping. I don't like this. That makes me really happy. Oh boy. And you're happy too, right? I don't know. In this club? I don't know. <laughs> well, uh, I'm not saying that line. If you guys can want to read it, you can. I'm not saying that. Of course I am. I do not. Oh, jeez. Never mind. <laughs> wow, that was actually pretty good. Okay. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> good. That's all that matters to me. Are you sure you're wearing your headgear right? Because I think it's <laughs> twisted. My, that makes sense. Why, what the hell? Did you guys hear that or is it just us? No, that was... I heard that too, so. Um, thank you, Pink Fox. Oh, gosh. Sayori. Is there something wrong? Huh? No, nothing. Oh, boy. I'm just a little tired today. No, oh, Jesus. Great. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Tell me if you need anything. I will. That's the face of desperation right there. Look at her. Don't worry about me, okay? Bit too late. <laughs> they can go play with everyone else now. My turn. <laughs> there we go. Mm. If you insist. Yay! I'm gonna go home in a little bit early today, okay? Gee, I wonder what's going on. Mr. Prussian. <laughs> Sayori? Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? Oh boy. I will see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything else, Sayori cheerfully walks out of the classroom. Humming to herself. Mm, Monica. Uh, you really want to avoid the person it was actually written for now, don't you? Scooch. I want you falling off my Hi, leg. Pink Fox. Another person with one of those. Oh, what is with you people in those big freaking helmets on your heads? <laughs> those are not hair. That is not hair. <laughs> Or is it called a hermit? I don't know. Um, it's called a hair mask. Hair mask. Oh, Wait, gosh. what are you talking about? Like a helmet that looks like hair. <laughs> oh, that's a wig. <laughs> that's too simple. I'm gonna call it a hermit. Okay. Or a. It's it's. Or it's a head hilaire. Helmet. Hilaire. No, they're actually amphibious and hermits. It's called a head helmet. Yeah. 
Yeah, but that's a that, that that's a Disney thing. This ain't Disney. Hi, Pink Fox. Hi. Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Nope. Being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people. Good luck with that. I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. Uh huh. It would also make me very happy to see you. You're kissing me a lot in this. Why are you trying to pick my nose? I was trying. I was trying to do this. <laughs> yeah, hey. but your finger was going on my nose. I don't know. You're a very so, weird person. Look, this is what happens when they put uh, these stupid head things on me. That is a fair point. <laughs> Ugh, don't do that, Monica. Anyway, let's look at today's poem. Sure. I let Monica. That, oh, that's, wait. That, that's, that's you. Yeah, that's not Monica. I let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hands. Uh, sticking on this Nazi style once more, I see. Hmm? Oh, boy. You really like Nazi, don't you? No. <laughs> uh, that's... Oh, come on, Pink Fox. It's awfully suspicious, you know. Shut up. Spending time with her in the club room every day. So he likes a chick with a big, big head of headgear. They all have headgear on. <laughs> all underneath, they're probably all bald. <laughs> Whoa, okay. <laughs> That's why they wear headgear. It really does look like headgear, though, because of the shadowing underneath. You can see that, um, can't that's you? that's anime, honey. Well, psta. <sighs> yeah. I don't know, maybe they're all... Never mind. I'm not gonna say that. I'll, I'll tell you after. Pretending to like the manga she's into? Hey, I actually like manga. Shut up. You know how Natsuki is. If I don't indulge her, she'll end up hating me. Eh. Why the look? Monica. No, I think you're misunderstanding, Pink Fox. It's not like Natsuki just hates everyone who doesn't give her Ugh, what she wants. Up my I legs. can't help it. Eh. Okay. I have a big butt. Yeah, well, I like big butts, and I cannot lie. <laughs> yeah, she's assertive, but she's not that selfish. Okay, fair enough. In fact, I think you're the only one who indulges her as much as you have. Whoa. That's something to chew on. Is that so? I kind of knew that, but I just didn't want to admit it. So I just need to ask one thing of you. Which is? <clears throat> Be careful, please. Like you care. Nasuki is kind of, um, unpredictable. Uh, you know what, fair enough. She is. A lot of times she doesn't even know what she wants. That sounds like so many people in general that I've met in the past ten years. Uh... No names. Do I know who you're talking about? Some of them, but a lot of them know. She's the youngest one here. Well, I kind of figured that one with how short she was compared to the others. Bite me. Not you! <laughs> she might not know how to handle her own feelings properly. Like, you see them side by side. Monica, she's like at the top of the screen along with Yuri. <clears throat> then Sayori's maybe up to where about above uh, Monica's eyes are. And then Natsuki's just like about to where they're uh, shoulders are. Yeah, their mouth is. Yeah, about, yeah. What I'm saying is, if something bad happens, then it could end up damaging the club, too. That's all you care about. You only care about your damn club. And you wouldn't do that 
to me, right? No. That's... I'm not sure how to respond to Monica. While I care about her and the club, it's also kind of unfair to bring that up. Well, you're smart. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Sure. Yeah. You know what? Bite me, Monica. <sighs> you ain't allowed to do that. Monica smiles sweetly. <laughs> anyway. I'll share my poem with you right now, alright? Okay. Uh, uh, all right. The lady who knows everything. An old tale tells of a lady who wander, wanders earth. The lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer. All meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought. And here I am. A feather. Lost adrift the sky. Victim of the currents of wind. Day after day, I search. I search with little hope. Knowing legends don't exist. When all else has failed me. When all others have turned away. Legend is all that remains. The last dim star glimmering in the twilight sky. Until one day, the wind ceases to blow. I fall. And I fall and fall and fall even more. Gentle as a feather, a dry quill, expressionless. Gentle as a feather, stiff as a board? Maybe. But a hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger, the hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I am thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer. All of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning. There is no purpose. And we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend. Your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat, and I pick up a gust of wind. That was deep. Yep. You know... Looking for answers are the sorts of way that give life meaning. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not to get too philosophical or anything. No, that's my job. <laughs> but it was kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. You know, I was starting to assume you people just like pull these papers out of your helmet things that you have I, on. No, but... I assumed that they pull them out of their butts. No. Nah. If anywhere, they would have pulled... Yeah, no, they, like, they, you know, they ask you to look away for a second. Zit. Okay, you can look again. Here it is. That wouldn't surprise me. Ugh, kind of weird to think about, though. I see. Never really put much thought into it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical. It is paradoxical. I, I said paradoxical. No, I know. You said it wrong, but I know what you meant. It says par no. it said paradoxical, but same thing. Same difference. Because if we aren't the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? Yeah. Yeah. You know, there's one thing I noticed. It seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. <laughs> are you surprised? Shut up, Monica. We wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? I call bullcrap on that. I mean, you can write about love and happiness. Yeah? And totally be okay. Humans are two-dimensional creatures, you know. I'm a two-dimensional creature. <laughs> oh my god. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think you know that better than anyone. Monica is breaking the fourth wall again. Cause she ain't talking to the she ain't talking to the character. I know. You mean one dimensional? You mean oh, wait. one dimensional? See. Yeah, see, she's breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> uh yeah, that. Anyway. Here's Monica's 
writing tip of the day. The second one of these is what I was talking about earlier. She broke the fourth wall for that tip. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not that good? It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put so much into. Yeah, I can kick over that. But if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. True, yeah. Because instead of just telling you which right, that your writing is good, okay, or bad, they want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things you can work on. Yeah. It's much somebody, more... somebody put a counter on how many times she's kissed my cheek in this video. <laughs> That's all I gotta say to that. <laughs> it's much more encouraging that way, and it will make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? Okay, Monica. That is why it's called Doki Doki Literature Club. The Doki Doki part I don't get, but yes. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Okay, Monica, screw off. We have time for one more person. We'll save Natsuki's response for next time. Yuri. Yuri's gonna be so upset. Yeah. Yep. Oh, Yuri. No, I do Yuri's voice, remember? Oh, yeah. You do Sayori and Mo uh, Monica. Yuri doesn't look too enthusiastic about spending time with me. I guess if she changes her mind, she'll come to me. But I should leave her be for now. Well, that was fast. Never mind. I guess we'll all do all of them. Oh, with only two minutes left? Let's see, let's see! Eh, going on. Okay, had a gear check. <laughs> I, l I still love that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're certainly enthusiastic today. Of course! You know I like your writing. I'm just surprised. How? Oh, I'm surprised. Wow, I don't know anymore. I'm just surprised. It seemed like you had a lot of trouble admitting that before. Well, well of course. I just had to put you in your place a little bit. Well then. Excuse me. Sour. With a little bit of spicy on top. Wait, no, no, never, never mind. That's that. me. I'm sugar and spice and everything nice. I was I was gonna say never mind, that's the headgear. <laughs> he has like something on top of it that's like some kind of like maybe that's the red strands. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> it's not like I mean it's not like I was shy or anything stupid like that. Or jealous. No, you remember, you know that girl from Zoe 101 that had the headgear on? Oh, jeez. That's her. That's her reincarnated. <laughs> That's what I I'm really saying. wasn't jealous. Just because you happen to be a good writer. It's such a dumb thing to get jealous about. <laughs> Natsuki. What? You're not very confident about your writing, are you? Huh? What are you talking about? My writing is obviously the best, right? This guy is not very good with words. <laughs> no. Whatever the dude we're playing as sucks with words. Hey, do you know who that sucks at words? Me. Every, I was gonna say every jock in the freaking planet that's part of the stereotype. I'm actually a basketball jock because I play really? multiple sports. Oh, yeah. Basketball, okay, softball, fair. soccer. Never mind then. <laughs> I was a cheerleader. I've, this, whoever follows the stereotype then, that's why I said that. Anyway, it took me a while to figure out, but I think I finally did. Maybe Natsuki acts so arrogant because she's trying to make up for her own insecurities. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. Or, or she, maybe she's just a spoiled pampered brat, or like some just, people we know. Or she just likes him. Like, like, likes him. Mm. Exactly. If she acts like she's the best then other people might think that way, too. Right? Hey, Fox. Please just tell me you like my poems. Oh, Natsuki, don't do that. I don't care if you hate them. Just please tell me I'm the best. Okay. I just... I just really need to hear that from someone. 
Oh, Once you find Honey. out, hun. Once you find out what she's going through in the background, you'll know why she says this. Oh boy, I gotta watch previous Doki Doki literature club, don't I? I told you to do that prior to this. <laughs> Good luck with the seven. I didn't episodes. have time. <laughs> Good luck with the seven episodes. You can literally listen to it. It's a visual novel. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> but I, didn't, I don't have earbuds at work. Mm. Okay, fair point. Once those five earbuds get here, you can use a lot of them. Oh, I'm using wireless ones, new wireless ones for both of us. That's true, that is true. I just really need to hear that from someone. I know he sounds stupid. No, you don't. No, you sound idiotic and childish. And like you have headgear on your poor little face. Okay, that's horrible. For this circumstance, that this is not the place to say that first part, but that second part, yeah, that headgear ain't, no, I, headgear ain't coming off. I just know I can't. She has the sweet little innocent oh boy. voice. There's a reason I never shared my poems before this. Natsuki? You know what? Extensive episode. I need to read this. Because... Because nobody ever takes me seriously. No! What's the point in sharing my poems if people just laugh and say that's so cute, just like you, Natsuki? Sometimes I don't want to be cute. But you are. I'm sorry. Nobody understands that. I try really hard when I write. The style doesn't matter. The emotions are there. Oh. Why can't anyone see that? Because they're idiots, it's Natsuki. Just one... Oh boy. Oh, Natsuki, don't do this. Natsuki trails off. Maybe it's because her lips started to quiver. I look down. Her fists are clenched really tightly. Hey, Natsuki. If you're not careful, you'll rip your own poem. I gently grab the poem with my own hand until she relaxes her grip on it. I place it flat on the desk and smooth out the wrinkles that she put into it. Don't read it. Before I can pick it back up, Natsuki snatches the poem up from the desk. Any good. And I know you hate my poems. You don't have to read this one, okay? But I want to read it. Oh, but why? Because. I like your poems. I really do. Why would I judge you for your style? It's not like my own style is anything crazy. I mean, it's true that the first time I read one of your poems, I didn't look much into it. But I know you better now. And it's wrong for Yuri to think your style is more amateur than hers. Well, she is a sophisticated error. Arrogant. Acting like she's heiress. very She's very arrogant sometimes. Anyway. And Sayori. She always means well. But sometimes she's so focused on simple happiness that she doesn't understand what people really want. Yeah, I guess I never really thought about how hard it is for you. And I'm sorry if I was part of that problem. I understand now. You're not just cute. You're a lot more than that. Uh, Natsuki, you're doing it again. Once again, Natsuki clutches her poem a little too hard. She looks down, hiding her eyes from me. I never realized how difficult this was for her. But finally, she forces herself to extend her arm and set her poem on the table. You can read it. Just turn that way. I don't want you to look at my face right now. Okay. Why is everybody getting depressed now? Because they were you just had, did something. Whoa! This already looks way more sophisticated than what she normally does. Because you. Tomorrow will be a bright will be brighter with me around. But when today is dim, I can only look down. My looking is a little more forward because you look at me. When I want to say something, I say it with a shout. But my truest feelings can never come out. My words. Yep, she's are... definitely crushing on you. Yeah. Thank you. Oh yeah. This In real life, around. he's mine. This time around.
around, yes, but we have to do this three more times. <laughs> when? So, to get the better end of this story, you have to help everybody. To do that, you have to save a specific point before something in the story happens, go back to the beginning, and do it all over again with a different person. And then you have to go back to the beginning again, do it all over again with the third person, and then progress. <laughs> Well, then. Yeah, I'll do those ones on my own. <laughs> Don't worry. Anyway, when I want to say something, I say it with a shout. But my truest feelings can never come out. My words are a little less empty because you listen to me. When something is above me, I reach for the stars. But when I feel small, I don't get very far. My standing is a little bit taller because you sit with me. I believe in myself with all of my heart. But what do I do when it's all torn apart? My faith is a little bit stronger because you trusted me. My pen always puts my feelings to the test. I'm not a good writer, but my best is my best. My poems are a little bit dearer because you think of me. Because you, because you, because you. That one is the best one I've heard. Oh yeah. These are way better than her previous. That was wow. That one was way too deep and realistic <laughs> to life itself. Yeah. I can concur with that statement. Why are you looking at me like that? You don't like it. Just say it. My hand fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at you because my hand fell asleep. And again, take the headgear off. I'm sure there are thousands more poems like this. That was <laughs> seriously Nazi. That was really good. What the hell? <laughs> No, it's not that I don't like it. It's just a little surprising to read. That was a love letter. That's what that was, if anything. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'm not used to hearing such nice things coming from you. Don't just say that. Tell me. <laughs> what do you think the point of the writing is? You like him. Not That's scared. obvious. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> you have a crush on someone? Expressing things that you just can't say. Okay, I definitely know that feeling. <laughs> That's why she looked at me, because I definitely know that feeling. And I'm pretty sure she does too, actually. <laughs> no, yeah, she does, but that's something we're not going to discuss. Yeah, I understand. I'm sorry for missing the point sometimes. I always mean well. And I'm happy that you showed this to me. I liked it. Well, yeah. I, I'm a pro, so... Natsuki mumbles, completely failing to sound confident like she usually does. Just remember that I, I can't think these things sometimes, too. You're nice to me, it's... Those eyes. I can't. I can't. Oh. I can't. <laughs> nope, nope. I... I think we're done for tonight, yeah, guys. Yeah, we're, we're, we're done. We're gonna leave... We're gonna stop torturing Natsuki with the headgear thing. Um... Poor honey. Uh... I felt so bad for her. She's so vulnerable. Yeah. She's so sweet. She is. But so mean sometimes. Yeah, that's something I've met a lot of people. Oh no, no. my god. Well, while she's getting up, um, bypass, bypass, I'm gonna leave this video here. This is an extensive video here. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode Bye. of Doki Doki Literature Club. Uh, don't know how often we're gonna be seeing her in it, but next time we'll... Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, if you like this video, make sure to push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. And if you really like to, consider subscribing to the channel. I have a suggestion for a visual. my channel. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Name there's... the pink fox. Not that hard to find. Could you pass me the controller, actually? No. I need it. No. Um, if you really like this, consider subscribing to the channel. Check out the visual novels next to my head, one being this one if you missed anything, and the other being one that I've done prior to this. In the meantime, though, this train's off to its next destination, but we hope to catch... Oh, uh, Don't. Not yet. Engineer, stop. Someone control the fox, will ya? <laughs> We're off to our next destination, so we'll catch you guys in another ride.